Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought we'd just do a little like classic makeup look. I've got all my products here that we're going to be using and yeah, I just thought I'd try and recreate the look that I did yesterday because I quite like that one so I thought I'd share that with you guys. So first thing I, I'm going to use is the number 17 primer. Now this will matter if I down my face it's quite thick as well. But this is in my 2023 products I want to use up this year. So, if you're by using it. Now as you'll see, it will really like mattify my face down. Now I have moisturised and prepped my skin before I started. So, I'm just going to take it all over the face and forehead. And now we're going to move on to brows. So I'm going to be using the brow atelier brow soap in my brows, and then I'm just going to top off and set it in place with the collection clear mascara. Now, as you'll see, the background has changed. I'm experimenting with backgrounds at the moment just to see like what kind of works. So I'm just going to use the mirror in the Revolution palette. with some of this brow gel well I say brow gel is clear mascara but it works just the same now most of the products that I'm going to be using are from my 2023 use up so if you haven't seen that video then I'd recommend going to watch that so you can see what products I'm trying to use up this year and you can follow my progress to see if I actually do manage to use them up so now that's done, we're going to go in with the Revlon Antioxidant Concealer and I'm gonna, just going to use a damp beauty blender which I've ran under cold water so put this under my eyes Now it says it's concealer, I treat it more as like a foundation because then I don't like use concealer afterwards so just put that in a few spots then just use my beauty blender, we're just going to blend that out all over my face. Now I found that this concealer really does work best if you put more than you think you need on. Especially if you use a beauty blender, because beauty blender does absorb some of that product anyway. It does make my face a bit yellow, but you know what? We're using it up, so it's okay, I'm not going out anywhere today, so we'll stay at home. That'd be fine. Now I always like to do my heart, my face in like two halves. So I'll do like under my eyes, my chin, my cheeks first, and then put products like on my forehead. I don't know why I do that, but I've always done it. Now that that's all blended, I'm just going to go in with the collection press powder just to set that and a big fluffy brush. So I'm just going to take this all over my face so it helps set it in place. Alright, so now we're going to go in with the I Have Revolution Star, Tra Star Struck Triple Baked Highlighter. There you go, if I get my words out. And I'm just going to take this Spectrum A10 fan brush. Just going to get some on. Just put it on the high points of my face. I'll put a bit on my cupid and on the end of my nose. Now that's it, that is face done. So. And we move on to our eyes. So I'm going in with my magnetic palette. Oh, I've opened it the wrong way. Ah, uh, oh, they've gone everywhere. So I'm just going to. Mm, yeah, so I'm just going to go in with this pink shade right here. 
and just taking a little bit like kind of fluffier a bit of stubbly brush and I'm just gonna put this in my crease and run this through my crease line fan it out a little bit And then I'm going to go in with a more stubbly brush and I'm going to go in with this like darker brown and just put that in the outer corner of my eye. I am in no mean shape or form a makeup artist or like a fantastic at makeup but it's just products I use and things that I do and it works for me so and then I'm just going to go back in with the first shade and I'm just going to take this like little like liner brush and I'm just going to work that shade onto my lower lash line So now we're going to go in with this like peachy nudie shade right here and we're just going to use this shade just to blend the shades together and then just blend it up to your eyebrows. This is not as a harsh definition. And now I'm just going to dip into the Revolution Forever Dynamic palette and I'm just going on like a flat brush I'm going to take this purple shade and I'm just going to put it all over my lid. Okay and now just with the other side of the brush we're just going to dip into this white shade in the middle and I'm just going to put that on my inner corner just to make them pop. Yeah, so I'm actually now just going to dip back into the magnetic palette and we're just going to go for this cream white shade at the top corner. Um, still using the same brush and um, we're just going to get a little bit that I'm going to just use that to highlight our brow bone. I just like to take a little bit just to highlight the point that I want it to go. And then I will just blend it out with my finger. I guess that's everything for eyeshadow. We now move on to eyeliner. Eyeliner? Yeah. Eyeliner. <laughs> I said that so weirdly. Um, now I'm in no means, shape or form great at eyeliner so please don't judge me. I always find that the left side, the left wing is always better than the right wing and I'm not sure why. I can never get them even but we're gonna, we're just gonna ignore the fact that my face will be asymmetrical. But it's okay. It's okay. So I can't find the footage so I'm just going to tell you what kind of products I use. So I then just used the mascara which I got from Poundland on my eyelashes and then for my lips I then used the Nicole Miller lip liner which is in my 2023 project use up and also the collection liquid lipstick in the shade Secretive 2. Um, and then I just set my face with the Revolution Pro Supreme Matte Setting Spray. So yeah, I'm really sorry that I lost the end of the footage, but stay tuned for the next video.
where I've got something exciting. 